I don't know the specifics of your daughter's plan, but she may have only had $750 worth of coverage for ambulance services, and in that case, she maxed that out and may have to pay the rest. The other possibility is that it was an out-of-network ambulance uh, service, and that surprisingly happens not infrequently. And in that case, the ambulance would take her where she needed to be, and the coverage would probably be slightly less comprehensive than if it were an in-network provider. The other wrinkle might be that the ambulance company could charge her, could balance bill her for whatever the insurance company didn't charge. So that may have happened as well. Whatever the situation is, she should certainly contact the ambulance provider and try to negotiate with them. Ask them if they will accept a certain amount as payment or perhaps take the in-network rate if they're out of network and say, that's good enough, we'll take that rate and, and that can be payment in full.